For more than two days, the town of Trapp has been under high-level police surveillance. This suburban town near the French capital Paris has seen unprecedented violence with clashes between police and young protesters for three days. The violence has alarmed many in the financially poor suburban towns across big French cities, where a majority of the residents are from North African origins. When the interior minister arrived to supervise the situation on ground, families living in Trap wanted to speak to him directly. There is no excuse, absolutely no reason to question the legitimacy of the mayor or the police, which has been doing its duty. Riots began after a 21-year-old resident of Trap reportedly hit a policeman. The man was arrested. Meanwhile, his wife claims she was attacked by the policeman in the first place and her burqa was pulled away. Residents say they are as tired of police violence as they are of the lack of jobs. We have neighborhoods where unemployment among the youth can cross 40 percent. There is no doubt that this is a big problem and nothing has been done. We condemn the violence carried out by the youth, but to be honest, the only thing we get is the show we saw with the interior minister, which will change nothing at all. Why are the young people angry? Why did they protest in front of the police station? Because no one wants to hear our voice. Even the police don't register our complaints against the administration. The mayor is never accessible, his assistant neither. The only time they speak to us is when they want our votes. Residents in Trapp say all kinds of confrontations between the police and the youth must come to a full stop. They also say that confidence and dialogue has to be re-established between elected representatives and residents. How quickly that will happen remains to be seen. Anastasia Proy, Press TV, in Trapp, near Paris.